All right, I have Frank here to help demonstrate what we're gonna do for today's lab. The first thing uh, that I'd like you to do is to put the lighter into the water, all the way in. There you go. Pull it out. And you're gonna find, take the starting mass. So whatever that number is, you're gonna record that in your data table. All right, go ahead and leave that there for a little bit. Now take your graduated cylinder put it into the water and you're gonna put it so that it completely fills up with water. So you're gonna to wanna to tilt it on its side. There you go. And turn it so that it'll go completely full of water. You're gonna to wanna to push the bottom down underneath the top. There we go. I think I still see a big air bubble. Can you get that air bubble out? You're gonna to wanna to tilt it the other way. There we go. Any more bubbles? There we go. Okay, that looks full. Okay, so now you're going to hold the top, or actually that's the bottom of the graduated cylinder up, and then the opening of the graduated cylinder is going to stay underwater. All right. Now when you do that, even if you pull it up, as long as you leave the bottom underwater, it will stay filled with water. Is it full of water? Yeah. Okay. So now you're gonna take your lighter. Here's the lighter. The sparker isn't on the lighter anymore. So all we can do is release the butane and we can't light it though. In fact, in this lab, there can be no candles, no source of flame whatsoever. Um, that is not safe. So we are going to collect gas from the lighter into the graduated cylinder. And so Frank is gonna put the lighter underwater. He's gonna hold the lighter underneath the top of the graduated cylinder, the opening of the graduated cylinder. He's gonna push the button down and you can see that the gas is coming out of the lighter and it's displacing the water that's in the graduated cylinder. He's gonna go all the way down to 100 milliliters. So go ahead and stop and check. Where are you at right now? It says, I think it says 90. Okay, so you may wanna pull your cylinder out just a little bit more. There you go. And then, so go ahead and keep adding until it, till the water line is at 100. Correct. Water line at 100? Now it is, yeah. Okay, so, um, what we really we know that means that our volume of gas is a hundred milliliters so now we need to put the lighter back on the scale we'll get our final mass of the lighter the difference between the two is the mass of gas that's in the graduated cylinder and you all should know how to calculate mass to moles so that we can plug it into the equation. Um, if you wanna go ahead and let that go, Frank. You, yep, that's fine. Um, the other data that we're gonna need is the temperature of the water. So if you just wanna demonstrate how you're gonna do that with a thermometer. So that'll give you another variable. Um, you read the temperature. And um, in class, we will explain how you're going to get the pressure. Be safe. Remember, no flames in this lab at all.